So we're about to head in this mall where a car show is gonna be at. So let's check it out. Let's pick Dude. these two up. This guy been like trying to choose me for an hour. You over Thanks, me, bro, bro, bro. Thanks, bro, man. All right, Good I'll deal. be back later. All right, bro. Thank you. So right now I'm just sorting through some Pokemon cards, taking out some random stuff that I think that people might like. Let's move that shells. And the rest will go in the book pile. In the box. Tons of tons of tons of them, so Whoa. Dropping some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Mm -hmm. So how I like to sort my Pokemon cards are these are Pokemon. These are trainers. So these are the two type. Or actually there's three types is um energies as well. So these are the three types that you find in Pokemon card. The Pokemons, which are the creatures, the trainers, aka supporters and items, and the energies. I like to separate them, and if you can see on the bottom right here, some will be on the left side, and some will be on the right side. Uh, it will have either a circle like this, which is a common, a diamond like this, if you can focus. which is an uncommon and there are a star like this which is a rare so I like to sort them out like that and of course you know there are holographic cards which are shiny and cards that are like this are called ultra rares in full art uh, the whole entire car is made with the art you can kind of tell because the um, usually the more expensive one will have texture on it those are usually the more expensive pokemon cards so when i fill up a box like this I like to start labeling it. So right here, I would put what it is. So this is Pokemon and it's common uncommon. I'll bring this down to my storage on the basement and storage goes. Bam. Put it right there. So I would like to fill up this whole entire case up. Getting ready, about to head out. First stop. Gotta get some gas in the car because I've been slacking lately and have not been getting gas. Second stop 
is the post office. I got like 20 packages I need to ship out. So I've been slacking on that as well. And third, we're gonna drop an hour down to Morristown and let's go to a three day car show in the mall. Fun fact, it's my first time. The show that we're about to go to is my first ever three day show, but it's kind of small and it's in the mall. So it's kind of, it's different, but let's see what happens. <clears throat> What's up going on guys? So I'm about to head down to the car show here in the mall. But first stop, we gotta get some gas. I've actually been up since about, what, 4.30, 5 o'clock. Been getting some, uh, some work done. Shipping out some stuff, listing some stuff. And sorting cars and stuff like that. Yeah, I've just been procrastinating a lot. Uh, and about sorting cars is just so overwhelming for one person just to do all that stuff uh, I mean it's not hard work or anything I there's like I can finish sorting it a lot faster but I'm like old CD so I like to have things like certain ways and I like to be like sorted the way I like which you know takes a little bit longer but it is what it is. The thing I need to start being better at is you know, just not overthink because I overthink a lot. I would, I would just think of stuff and then I'll psych myself out because I overthink a lot. And the people that, you know, they don't really think, they just do and do and do it. Those people are like tends to be more successful at what they do because they don't really care about the consequences or whatever. They just go, 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 and figure it out when it happens. Um, I mean, I don't necessarily think that that's the best strategy either, but you know, you gotta have a little mix of both. I think you gotta think about what uh, what your next moves are and have plan B and C and D, you know? You can't just go ahead first and just do it and not know what direction to go. Sometimes it works out, that is true. Sometimes it does work out, uh, but you know, but most of the time, it's not the best strategy, uh, in my opinion. But overthinking too much also is not the best ideal thing. And I need to start taking more risks. That's what, because that's a lot of things that I should pull triggers on. And you know, I did it because I didn't want to put all my eggs in one basket. And I would see another person that pulled a trigger on that exact same thing and it worked out for them. And this happened multiple, multiple, multiple times. and. It, it does hurt, you know, it does hurt, but at the time I thought it was a good uh, pass, but it does hurt, you know So that's uh, that's a thing I need to work on take more risks, but you know calculated risks we're not gambling here, you know? We just gotta believe. So I'm here at Starbucks. Went to my homie's Mexican restaurant across the street. Took me with some Mexican food I've never had before. Uh, so it's pollo, so some kind of chicken and spinach. Um, with rice and beans, tortilla and chips. Never had this before. I don't even know what this is, but let's try it out. Seems healthy, right? 
We're here at a flea market. Let's see what cool stuff they got here. I was told they have some cards. I was told that they have like a vendor here that have cards and stuff. I know they have like a vendor here that has Pokemon cards, but I heard there's board cards and stuff too, but let's go find out. I guess this is the sport car shop that they're talking about. So we're about to head in this mall where a car show is going to be at. So let's check it out. Let's pick these two up. This guy been like trying to choose me for an hour. Yo, Thanks, me, bro, bro, bro. Thanks, bro, man. All right, Good I'll deal. be back later. All right, bro. See you, bro. What's going on, guys? I just got back home from the mall show. Uh, fun fact: it was my actually my first ever three day show. It, it is a small show. Usually have about thirty to fifty tables, supposedly, but. The most I've seen was probably like 20 or 30 tables but it's a weird three-day show it's a really small three-day show but it's in the mall in like a middle of nowhere in, <laughs> in Tennessee but it's cool it's a 45 minutes drive from my house so but today uh, it was a kind of a failure they didn't do that well but then again it's a Friday it's still early um so it is what it is you know sometimes you win sometimes sometimes you lose some but tomorrow and sunday we should be going to charlotte north carolina for collecticon so stay tuned for the vlog guys see you guys tomorrow peace thank you so much for watching my video and please if you haven't give me a follow on instagram at g and fire red and please Give me a subscribe if you haven't. I'm trying to get you 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And please like and comment down below. Thank you and see you next time. Fire out. Woo!